Hey guys, it's Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little crafting. So my boyfriend and I's anniversary is coming up. So I thought since I can't buy any gifts, I'm going to make something. Go back to the basics. So I plan to make a date night jar. So let's get started. All right, so you'll see that I have my little layout on my bed. You know, nothing too fancy. Um, so I got this jar at Dollarama. And it's okay if there's like scratches on here because this is why I have um, the chalkboard labels here. So I'm going to find one that matches or can cover it up. I'm thinking I can use some yarn or uh, ribbons to decorate the jar or even like scrap out these write-ins with like the washing tapes. Um, I also got the uh, popsicle sticks from the dollar store. Now I did want it to get colorless and just regular popsicles but I couldn't find any so this is gonna do um so I had this laying around I believe I got it from the dollar store as well if not it was probably from Michael's um and I'm thinking I'll take the yarn and wrap it around the top with the little tag um to indicate different colors and what the colors are so he'll know what to pick um so, to start, I actually um, wrote down all of the things that I wanted in here. So, here's a few of the things that I've written. Um, so, I did start it with the free outdoor activities, which would be in red. The things to do at home in green. Um, the things to do outdoors, so the ones that would cost some money in yellow and then I didn't know what to do with the blue so I thought why not do the quotes for blue so different love quotes that I really like um, and I decided to do 20 of each of them so in total um, this jar can fit about 80 popsicle sticks So because the popsicle sticks already have all the colors, I decided to just write with a black pen. And so I am going to start by writing all of my ideas onto the popsicle sticks and I'll get I'll get back to you guys. All right, everybody, I am back and I have finished writing all of the date ideas on the popsicle sticks so I can show you some examples so there's oh, there's make homemade pizza um, there's the drive-in movie night we also have um, swimsuit to the water park so I try to get a little creative with how I write these on um, now I didn't do as much of the blues because I got lazy maybe afterwards I will write the rest of the ones I came up with but it does take some time um, so like for example this one says Love is a two-way street consistently under construction. So that was actually very funny, or what I thought. So I also got my tag. As you can see here, I wrote out all the labels for each of the colors. And in the squares, I'm going to put in the colors of the popsicle sticks. So now I'm going to place... Um, all of them into the jar but first I'm gonna decorate the jar and after that I will come right back and show you what I have done so I just cut a piece of ribbon this one is very pretty I got this one from Michaels and I am getting my glue gun warmed up right now 
Um, now, glue gun doesn't actually hold that well on glass. And I've realized that through my previous jar that I made um, in my earlier years of our relationship. Um, but what I'm thinking is that I'll glue them together like this on top of each other. And then this is be this will be where um, it's hidden underneath one of these chalkboard labels. Um, and then I'll probably use some washing tape around it as well. I'm looking at the colors. I'm thinking maybe one of these two. I'm not really feeling so much of the blues. Um, so I might just go with the black, gold, and white one maybe. You'll see how well these ones hold. Um, and I will check back um, once I get this one situated. Alright guys, so as you can see, I added the ribbon. Um, I, I can show you from the inside. I added it with some glue gun. Um, it didn't hold as well, so that's why it works out that I stuck the chalk label on top of it. And then added a little bit of washing tape at the bottom. Which, you know, I think it adds a little a little style to it. And then at the top here, with just some yarn, I added the tag for it. So now, I'm just going to mix up all of the popsicles so that they're all um, randomized. I might actually do some more of the blues. I really didn't want it to be like traffic like colors um, which is why I added the blues in it but at least there's some blues to give it some other colors um, and then we can just go ahead and add them in I really want to try to cover as much of the outside of the jar just because um, then he can at least he'll be able to see through the jar what the ideas were, um, but that's okay. No, you know, just shove it in there. Uh, maybe this will be enough. Actually, don't need to make any more. And I did try to put them all in before I. Before I started writing and they all fit so there you can see there's some room at the edge Let's see sorry guys. I do not have a tripod yet. So that's why it's been selfie mode With me just holding it with one hand You know beginner youtuber here I don't need nothing fancy yet. Ah, I'm so close. Okay, I gotta push them in one at a time. And I'm trying to make sure that all of the writing is at the bottom. Um, just makes it a lot more fancier. I would, I guess. I don't know. Alright. So... That's how it looks so far. I don't have a lid for it. Um, let me just color code this, and then I'll show you the final. Um, then I'll show you the final um, production of it. All right, guys. So this is the final product. As you can see, I added my little right into date jar. Um, I know for sure this is gonna get ruined, so. I'm gonna put it in a place where it won't get touched or if I can wrap it up and just put it away somewhere for a week I'm sure it can last a week um, and then I added the colors as you can see I don't know why there were some running of the colors but you know what guys are guys they he's not gonna care about the colors running and I'm just too lazy to make a new one <laughs> Anyways, I hope you like this little idea that I came up with. Um, 
So, you know, he just picks it and then, ta-da! Um, hope you guys would try it out and I guess you'll wait until my next video comes up. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to leave my, um, my other social medias down below. Um, if you'd like to follow those ones, you can make sure to subscribe and give me a like if you like what you see. Um, well then, I'll see you next time. Bye.